Hi there everybody. So today um, we are going to be cooking, well I already made them. <laughs> this is filmed after I made them but um, I'm going to be showing you how to make these eclairs which look so good. I haven't even tried one yet um, but we are going to learn how to make them together. I got this recipe from a video I saw on YouTube, so this isn't my recipe or anything, so I'll link the video um, and his recipe link down below. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a process. I've made some mistakes when um, I made these, but I'll tell you kind of what I did wrong, and um, I ended up remaking the cream inside, and I think they turned out really good. They look good, so I hope they taste good. Uh, but let's just get into this video. So first off, we're going to be making the filling. And um, we are going to need two cups of whole milk, um, a vanilla bean, or a half of a vanilla bean. Um, it says we need six egg yolks. 2 thirds cup of sugar, 1 fourth cup cornstarch, and 1 tablespoon of cold unsalted butter. So, um, let's start with the vanilla bean and the milk because we'll need that first. <laughs> It says half of the vanilla bean, but um, on his video he used a whole one, so I think I'm just gonna use a whole one because mine is really dry. This is not a fresh vanilla bean, which isn't the best, but it's okay. We will make do. So, yeah, this might be a little hard to cut. I'm gonna try to get seeds out of this one. I don't suggest using an old vanilla bean <laughs> like I am. I think what I'll have to do here is just throw in the whole vanilla bean into the milk, which he does as well, but first what he did was he scraped out the seeds and then threw in the whole vanilla bean. But it's all gonna kind of just steam in there anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to throw it all in. So, cut it scoop out the seeds, and then throw it into the milk. Um, so let's do that now. We're gonna add the milk to the pot. So, um, we're just going to add two cups of whole milk here. I just had 2% milk, so I'm gonna use that. It should work fine. And then we add the vanilla bean and its seeds. He said you could also use vanilla bean paste if you don't have vanilla beans. Um, I feel like that would be a good option too. Um, or just vanilla extract works as well. You just won't have the seeds in there, he said. Um, okay. So, I'm going to turn this on now. I did just turn this on beforehand to try it out, and it was pretty loud with the fan in this, um, on the stove top, so I think I'm going to voice over this part, but yeah, let's start cooking this. Okay, so, I'm just going to whisk this, and we're just going to bring this to a... <clears throat> To a boil and then immediately when it comes to a boil we'll take it off the heat. Okay, so now we're gonna make um, the egg mixture. So go ahead and separate six eggs and we're just gonna be using the egg yolks. So you can see the egg whites for um, whatever else. Okay, so 
so that is six of them and then let's see what we do next okay so we're supposed to whisk the egg yolks with sugar hi bubba <laughs> my cat is trying to get the eggs um so we want Two thirds cup of, a sh of sugar. So let me get that right now. Let me wash my hands first. Okay, so we're gonna put the sugar in now. over it. The clip before this cut out, um, so I just took the hot milk mixture and slowly whisked it back into the egg sugar mixture. So now we have this mixture right here. So again, put that vanilla milk mixture slowly whisking it in. It'll cook the eggs a little bit, but if you whisk it, it shouldn't, um, it should stay liquid and silky. It shouldn't shouldn't have any chunks or anything. Okay, so let's strain this. And I want all those vanilla seeds. Let me see if I can get them out. Even though I didn't scrape the vanilla beans, the seeds still seem to come out really well. It worked out. Okay, so I'm gonna move this. All right, so oh, that looks so good. All right, so now what he says to do is looking at the directions here. Uh, Bubba is sitting on the directions. Hold on, let me look. Okay, so it says to cook this over medium-high heat, whisking constantly until it thickens and slowly boils, um, and remove from the heat after that and stir in the butter. Oh yeah, let's get our one tablespoon of cold butter ready. And again, I'm going to voice over this part because this stovetop is loud. I'm gonna get a new one, I think, and I'm gonna try to find a quiet one. Okay, so now that this is all mixed, um, we're just gonna cover it up um, in a bowl or such. We're going to cover it with plastic wrap. Um, we're going to put plastic wrap right on top so that it doesn't create like a film. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator. Uh, overnight would be best, but I think at least for a few hours so it could get 
cool off and I can thicken up. Okay, so now let's make the pastry dough. Um, so we're going to start out with one half cup, half cup butter, um, or 113 grams, um, unsalted butter, and one cup of water, and a half a teaspoon of salt. If you're using salted butter, just eliminate the salt that you're adding in. Um, and then two teaspoons of sugar. And we're just going to mix this in a pot and bring it to a high heat. Um, or sorry, bring it to a roll rolling boil on a high heat. Again, this is going to be for the pastry dough. Now that you've taken it off the heat, add in one cup or 128 grams of flour, um, just all-purpose flour and stir for about 60 seconds or 30 seconds to 60 seconds until um, <clears throat> it combines and it should look more like a dough and then you're gonna put it back on the heat for about 30 to 60 seconds just to cook the flour um, and then yeah then you'll be done with that Now we're going to put it into a stand mixer, um, and if you don't have a stand mixer, mixer, mixer um, you can uh, use a hand mixer or um, probably even, yeah, whisk it. So um, we're going to add in four eggs, one at a time, on medium speed here, and just crack And this will be our last step for the dough, and um, we'll pipe it after this onto a baking sheet. And now the dough is done. And the dough looks so good. Okay, so um, now we're going to put the dough into a piping bag. And <laughs> there's bear in the back. Um, we're going to put it into a piping bag. And he used like a star tip attachment thing, but he said you could just cut a hole um, in this. You don't need... Um, a metal tip for these so I didn't use one um so yeah I just filled it first and then I cut a pretty big hole in the end um to make the eclair shape
just put some parchment paper down and he said that you can put a little bit of dough on the um, the cookie sheet to help it kind of like stick down and it helped a little bit uh, so yeah and then we're gonna pipe these out and do our eclair shape So now we're going to do an egg wash on them. So um, this is just one egg plus a tablespoon of milk mixed together. And then we're just going to brush it with the egg wash and kind of smooth out any parts that are maybe sticking up just so that nothing burns and it's all one cohesive shape. It was so satisfying. So now we are going to make the whipped cream that we're gonna um, mix in with the custard. Um, to be honest, you could probably just put the custard on its own inside the eclairs, um, but this kind of makes it like lighter and creamier. So we're just doing, um, I think this was, let me double check how much. Okay, so this was one cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of just granulated sugar, and two tables or er, and just a splash of vanilla. I like to add quite a bit of vanilla <laughs> um, at the end after you whisk it on high speed until it's um, whipped cream consistency. Then I just mixed it for a minute more just to combine the vanilla in and then once that's done you could just mix that in you could either mix in part of it or all of it to the custard however you want the consistency this is the new custard that I made um, I redid it because I forgot to add the cornstarch to the other one at the beginning but, um, now we're just gonna mix it together and he said to use, uh, suggest to use a whisk to mix these, and that's what I did. I just really added a little bit of this time. And that is it, and I tried a bite and it was good. <laughs> So for putting this into the eclairs, um, he used this uh, pipe 
typing tip right here, so I got one. It was really cheap, maybe like five dollars. Um, but, uh, to be honest, it was kind of difficult. Um, it was difficult to get out. I don't know if it's because the cream was just, uh, or the custard was just really thick or what, but, um, another thing he said that we could do, which I'd probably do next time, is just cut the eclair in half, or like almost in half, and then just put the custard in, um, and then kind of like close it over, if that makes sense. Um, I feel like it'd be a lot easier than having to use a pipe bag, and, um, yeah, it was just kind of difficult. Um, but, yeah, and then I just made the chocolate here for the top, the chocolate ganache, and it's five ounces of chocolate, and I used the dark chocolate. This was only four ounces that I had left, so that's why I have like some chocolate chips on the side that I added to it. You can use either dark chocolate or some sweet. I'm gonna use some and um, I'm gonna mix that with let me see here half a cup of hot cream. So you're just gonna chop this up and then put it in a bowl. loved the texture on these. Um, they were like soft on the inside, but the outside was very like 
crispy, had like a crisp to it. You'll hear it in a second. once you put the chocolate on we are all done it was definitely a process and I've learned um, along the way what to do and what not to do um, but they actually tasted very good in the end okay you guys they are all done um, the chocolate's still not set I guess but I wanted to try one of these Oh my gosh, the dough by itself is so good. It's almost like, it's kind of the texture of a croissant, but it's like sweet. Um, and I didn't do a great job at filling them with the, the custard, but um, I think I just have to fill them a little bit more and take more time with that. But they taste really good. I'm really happy about it. Um, it was definitely a process, but I think next time um, I'll know exactly what to do. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, go watch uh, the video I put in the link for um, the recipe and everything, but I will see you guys next time. Bye!